Hi guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. Now we're going to look at November and and October's completed coloring pages. I didn't do that many in November, unfortunately. Only three, but there are 10 in October. I've been full packed with travels and work in November, so Unfortunately, I haven't had time to show this until now. But let's just get started. And I am going to start with uh, a book with swear words and then a horror book. So if you want to skip that, you can skip to this. Right, let's go. All right, I got uh, this book. There's no artist in this book, so the publisher is Cider Mill Press Book. And the page I did was this one. And this one is only done with alcohol markers. And this is Ohuhu markers. Also, in this lettering, there is glitter. I don't know if you can tell. There is stickles. All right. Moving on to The Beauty of Heart through E by Alan Robert. This is the Haunted Playgrounds. And this is the first in this book. So I did this lady here. It's the horoscope. Fear your future. And I did really struggle with like these bits in here. I didn't know what to what to do with them. So I just pretended it was wood carvings, I guess. This is done with polychromos and there is a few details with Posca and glitter gel pen. You can tell in the there we go. See the pencil is really shiny. And then in the background is uh, acrylic paint. And I just put it on this side as well. So it's ready for when this is going to be colored. Then we got the Halloween special by Coloring Heaven. And I got this one first. So this one is done with polychromos for the figures here. Some Pasca details. Uh, and the background here is Neo Color 2s. And I wanted to do have like a burned paper effect kind of thing. It's like it's it's like in the fire. I actually did two in this book. I also did this one. And this one is kind of interesting. <laughs> this paper is like um cardstock uh, scrapbooking booking paper so I did cut out after I colored her uh, I cut out the figure with an exacto knife and then I glued the this paper on top of the other paper um, first I did make these Patterns with um, pastels, 
on a stencil and then I glue the figure on top. Uh, she is colored with polychromos and there's details with Posca and glitter in the star. And I also sealed it in the back so this is really now you can hear the difference and the So yeah, pretty happy with this one. Then we got Die Welt unter der Lupe Solande. I think it's um, the world under the microscope, I guess. On land. And this is the first one in this one. I wanted to do like a. Autumn vibe kind of picture. This is also done with polychromos and Pasca as these details. And these birds. Um, I wanted them to look like the real birds. It's the name here, I don't remember it right now, especially not in English. So I tried to make them like that. Then we got my Herbs Spaziergang, and this is the autumn book. And I this is the first one here as well. I did go for this one. Uh, I was thinking about like this one or the this one, but I did go for this one. And this is Ink Tent. And then I have gone over with Polychromos. I did draw an extra leafy bits there. And there are some Pasca highlights. I like how, the, how this one turned out. Now we got Spooky Coloring Book by Sarah Shevzik. Hope I don't butcher that name. And I did this one and this is done with polychromos the background is pastel and there is a uh, posca detail and i really love how this one turned out so you get this old witchy vibe and this also goes for my something black um prompt i don't remember what the challenge was yeah the challenge was someone else's pick and that was the halloween picture with the with the goat yeah that was that one then we got autumn harvest by Teresa goodridge and i did this one so this one is based with ink tents um and <laughs> I didn't like the background. It, the background was so uh, crashing with the rest. So I, it was really like red-ish purple. So I tried to make it more like blue purple. And going over with pencils, uh, everything is covered in pencils, really shaded and highlighted, and um, with polychromos. And also the uh, highlights with Pasca, and the writing here is everything is in in Pasca. Also the perfect. So I think I saved it uh, quite a bit uh, compared to what it used to be. 
and nothing broke through. Right, first one in the home. Then I received the Atlantis book in October by Hannah Carlson. And I did this one. And this one is almost only with ink pens. It's just a few highlights with pencil here and there, like around here and some in the flowers. There's Pasca and Glitter gel pen in the frame. All right. There's a lot of firsts uh, in October. Then we got 30 days with creativity. And finally, I did finish a page in there. Well, half. This, I all, all, always count one page as one page. So I did finish this one. And this is the things that Johanna loves. I did black out the text that was here because I don't like that in my calling pages. I mean, it's fine if it's like a few words, but like there was like a block of text. So this one is done with Black Widows. And Pasca, of course, and also Glitter. I don't know if you can tell, but there's so You see all the dots is Glitter. And background is acrylic. And I did write the words with Pasca. And here it's a saved spot for my, my stuff. It's a lot of the same things, though. <laughs> it is, really. Not really much here that I don't like. All right. And that was it for my finished pages of October. Now let's check out the November pages. Now there's only three pages in November. But I got Hexes Duga by Hannah Carlson. And I did this one. And this is done with ink tans and polychromos uh, on the shading. There's also Pasca and Glitter. See down here there's Glitter and a few spots here. And I did notice that this color scheme is pretty, pretty almost the same as this one, I guess. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe not. There's a lot of brown here, but yeah. All right. Place with that one. This is the first time I do like a uh, regular color for here, I think. First time I do pink, at least. Then we got this Snow White coloring book by Fabiana Tenazio. And I think this is the Italian version, not sure. And I did this one. And this is done with Black Widows. And the eyes here, if you can see the Eyes are really shiny. Let's see, right there. I did use the like um, I think it's called glaze. It is the um, jelly roll glaze in black. Uh, and there's also Pasca here as well. Nothing fancy, really. Then the last one for November is in my Reise durch Afrika. And I did this one. 
this one I started on a travel because it was easy and I really liked the, the picture. And this is done with Black Widows, uh, Pasca on the details, also the black um, glaze pen there and some glitter gel pen. I think it's turned out pretty cute. Can't really tell down here, but yeah. All right, now I'm gonna see the challenge and prompt, and then let's move on to the plans for December. All right, let's start with the challenge. So it's on this side, and then number 14. Color in your first book, right. Huh. That one uh, might be hard to do. Like, I, I could try, uh, but... First of all, I don't think there's any like Christmas or winter. Maybe there's some winter animals. I'm going to check that out after this. But I, I have already picked out 10 books. So there might be a time challenge. But we'll see. I'm not going to um, put it away. I'm going to put it on my list. So we got that one. And then a prompt. And I am hoping there is something in here that is can be used as Christmas or winter. I don't have the Christmas winter notes from last year. Let's see. A ladybug. Right, <laughs> super summary, but I can try to maybe draw in a ladybug in one of my winter pictures, or I could see if I can find a ladybug that I can make wintry. I actually do have a friend that sent me a video of a ladybug uh, on the wall today actually and it's really cold outside here in Norway we are about 10 degrees minus and that is celsius and uh, a couple of days we had 20 minus so i'm not sure how this ladybug survived but it is possible so now let's check out the books for december all right, so this is my first book, Millie Marada's um, Animal Kingdom, and I did find a few options in here. There is a hair, which I can make uh, like a winter coat on. There is this one. And also this one. But I think not this one. It's going to be either this one or this one. And I haven't decided which one yet. Mostly towards this one, actually. And make maybe a tree background, like a bunch of trees. And just a path here. With a bunch of snow in the background. We'll see. I might have another idea as well. So we'll see. I think it's going to be this one. Then let's look at some whips. So, Kids of Christmas Special. I started this one last year and I didn't finish. I don't have much left. So, I was thinking the 19th, I will. Continue on this one. I might do like a background first though before the 19th So let's continue on this one. This is um, polychromos And glitter 
and pause it. So you don't have to look through. All right, so let's continue on this one. Then we got Mind Rise Dutch Europa. This is not a must, but I have started started the background on this one. It's not a I mean this is like channel there almost like uh the um Christmas lights. Or maybe it's the I don't know. But yeah, this one. Then I did start one in Daydreams. And it is it's the houses that I'm doing Christmas like so I made like a red there, some bows, some lights and the peppermint. So I just need to finish that one. And I also got Millie Murata's Beautiful Birds. And I started my first in here. Almost done. I'm only missing like a few flowers and the mice. I don't think I'm going to do a background. Then moving on to other books. I got the Winter Spacer Gang, the winter book by Rita Berman. And I've seen so many pictures of this one. I want to do this. Maybe this one. There's a lot of good options in here. This might be my go to book if my pile runs out. We'll see. I have other books with Christmas stuff as stuff as well. And then this one again. <laughs> it keeps coming back to me. The Disney Dreams collection by Thomas Kincaid. And there's no winter pictures in this. But the closest I could get was maybe this one. At least there's I mean, it's flowers, but yeah, there's no winter pictures. There is the city ones, like uh, this maybe, or let me the Peter Pan one that I can't find right now. But anyways, this one, if I get to it, maybe try to paint. That's the thing, the paint part is like, yeah. Then I got this new book, um, Mythographic Menagerie. As this is my first mythographic book, and this is by Fabiana Atanasio. Um, so I found this one. I've seen a couple of people Covering this one, but it's so it's so small. I when I've when I have seen this book on other channels, it looks big. Like the picture itself looks really big, but there's a lot of uh, empty space here. So I think it's not that far from. It's not that far from the um, Rita Berman book, actually. Just like a finger in between, little finger, which is interesting. Yeah, this one or uh, this one. I don't like that the pages are perforated though. I do not like that. So my book is going to fall apart eventually. 
yeah this one i could just put some snow on the rooftops and this could be like a snow owl then we got moomin coloring book by coloring heaven and i find an found a easy one all the pretty things and she has all these gifts that might fit for christmas and then the, i have two books that is like a must in christmas it's, it's becoming a tradition and that is magical christmas by lisa mary cullen and i'm doing this in order now i did not do that i have some you know, like here and there but now i'm doing it in order so the next ones are these ones i absolutely love um lisa maricone's work it's so fun with ink pens and I'm doing this book in ink pens. Oh, this is really old. <laughs> Mind that. And my other must book in Christmas is Johanna's Christmas by Joanna Busford. So this one is not in order, but I've done a couple in here. I haven't picked a page yet. I'm just going to do whatever i feel like doing when it comes to it but there's a lot of pretty pages but i always feel like doing like real good in this book like this it was a tutorial or a color along last year so we'll see which one i'll pick all right that was it guys i hope you enjoyed um let me know in the comment if you want to do any of the challenge or the prompt and i wish you a happy december bye